Warning! Blatant use of kitten to shill D and D vlog. Yes, once again, I'm using the kitten to shill my vlog. Support my vlog. Help me feed this monster. Hey, I just did a video about Brandon Sanderson's and the Kickstarter. And because I know there's going to be responses to it, I thought I'd jump on the grenade ahead of time and go, okay, who actually has made the most on a Kickstarter as of whenever they do this? I guess Kickstarter's done quarterly, like everything else. So as of the, the most recent quarter, who has made the most money for Kickstarter and how many of them are related to Dungeons and Dragons? Because we know somebody's going to do a video about this. And, all right, so this is, um, as of May, it's the most recent I can find. So we're missing four months worth. So this is probably Q3 numbers. Um, so, but it says it's updated as of September. Um, uh, so... Here we go. Uh, Brandon Sanderson, uh, 41.7, is that million dollars? No, for, Brandon Sanderson has raised $42 billion. Billion dollars, really? That can't be right. I would say 42 million, not 42 billion. But okay, if he does made a billion, great. As of uh, the, today, it looks like Brandon Sanderson is currently rec leading the record at forty-two billion. Uh, next goes to Pebble Time, which was a uh, smartwatch, which went for twenty billion. I, I can't believe that's right. I think we would know, be hear, hear more about it if they really broke a billion on Kickstarter. So maybe the guy who wrote this meant million? I mean, I don't know. I mean, if they, they did make billions, wow. But somehow I would think if somebody made $20 billion on Kickstarter, we'd hear more about it. Number three is something called Coolest Cooler, made $13.29 um, million. Frost Haven made $12.97 million yeah this is this has got to be 42 million and 20 million not billion because otherwise there's a huge gap because this says coolest cooler made 13.28 million uh and then the smartphone made 20.34 billion so you're making you're selling me between uh 13 million and 20 billion there's nobody who made like 14 million like they just jumped from 14 million to 20 billion? I mean, I hate to say I don't think that's right, because I mean, what if I could be wrong, but it doesn't feel like that's right, because that's a huge jump between 13 million and 20 billion. Uh, well, anyways, you know, I don't know if the numbers are right or not, so I'm just going to say as of now, Brandon Sanderson is number one. Pebble Time, which was a smart watch, is number two. Coolest Cooler, I don't know what that is. Um, does it tell us what this is? No. With a name like Coolest Cooler, I'm going to... Was it like a refrigerator? Uh, Frost Haven, the miniature game, may, at number one, two, three, four, at 12. Pebble Time 2 at 12. Kingdom Death Monsters at 12. Um, was that the thing that, um, Matt Colville did? Escaflow Delta Pro, the portable home battery, made 12 million. Travel Tripod by Peak Design made 12.14 million. Critical Role, The Legend of Ma Vox Machina made 11 million. Pebble E Pager Watch made 10.27 million. Avatar... The last Airbender role-playing game made ten million. The world's best travel jacket made nine million. Marvel Zombies: A Zombicide Game made nine point three million. The Wormwood Module Gaming Tables, Coffee and Dining Models made eight millions. 
And Exploding Kittens made eight million. So at the bottom we have Exploding Kittens at eight point seventy eight million in two thousand and fifteen. And at the top we have Brandon Sanderson at forty two million. I'm gonna say million because the other article said million in sub as of twenty twenty two. So of these, how many are game related? One, two, three, uh, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. Of these, how many are D&D &D related? Frosthaven has nothing to do with D&D, &D, though you could use the figures for D&D. &D. Kingdom Death Monsters, I think that's a D&D &D thing, uh, but let's check. Kingdom Death Monsters is a co is a board game. Oh, I'm eating um, cheese. With, I guess, figures? Yeah, it's a board game that came with cool-looking figures, so probably it got us money because the figures are looking cool. I'm going to say it's D&D &D adjacent, but it's not D&D. &D. Um... Critical Role, The Legend of Vok Mac, and an animated series. Uh, D and D adjacent. Avatar Legends, the role playing game. D and D adjacent. Marvel Zombies, a zombie side game. D and no, nothing to do with D and D. Wormwood module, gaming table, coffee, and dining models. Could be used for anything, you know, Bo more board game and miniature game than D and D related. But sure, I'll give it D and D adjacent. Exploding kittens, nothing to do with D and D. So really, with the exception of Avatar being D and D adjacent, I mean, The Legend of Vox Machina being D and D adjacent, and Avatar being a fantasy game, none of these are one hundred percent have anything to do with Hasbro. You could argue that a lot of them are. D and D adjacent and cross pollinate with D and D adjacent, but uh, Brandon Sanderson at forty two million or forty two billion, whichever is correct. I guess I have to look that up. Is number one. Does his novels have anything to do with Dungeons and Dragons whatsoever? Absolutely not. Anyways, there you go. Because I did it before somebody else could have done it and give you false information. Now this is, of course, as of end of May, early June, so this is Q3 numbers. We still don't have Q4 numbers. We won't go those until right before the end of the year or sometimes not even until after the end of the year. So that could change. But right now it's Mr. Sanderson, which has nothing to do with d, &D. Anyways, that's everything that's going on in Kickstarter. Uh, if you want a link, it's down below. You can look this up itself. Um, though, again, I don't know how accurate it is. But yeah, till next time, I'm the OGGM. And speaking of money... Why don't you kickstart the OGGM by buying my merch? I've got a brand new t-shirt out, the West Coast Grognade line. Yeah, link down below. Talk to you later. See ya.